The basis of my research is to take bovine intervertebral disc cells, which intervertebral discs or IVDs are the basically structures in between the vertebra of your spine that are responsible for load bearing and fluidity of motion. We're taking cells from uh, bovine samples of those and we are trying to culture them in a 3D environment so that they express uh, their genes and also their cell morphology, so basically their shape and just what genes they express uh, more closely to what they actually are in the natural physiological environment because the way that it's oftentimes done in the uh, regenerative medicine field is that they culture these cells in a 2D uh, monolayer culture environment and this changes what the morphology of the cells will be and also what genes they will express. So we're looking to avoid that by trying to test it with a 3D environment. When they're in 2D, think about it sort of like survival of the fittest. 2D is completely different than what you would be in the normal human, cow, or any animal physiology. But if you put it in a 2D environment, only the cells that can adapt to that environment are going to survive. But if we build a 3D environment that's somewhat comparable to that which we see in the natural physiology, then that means that the cells that survive should be the cells that would survive in the normal physiological environment. So though I may be a chemical engineer, I've always been fascinated with regenerative medicine and tissue engineering, and I actually want to go on to do biomedical engineering. After I graduate, I'm actually going to pursue the biomedical minor here. So I have always been fascinated with stem cells and have always wanted to learn more about this. And this research almost fits in with that goal perfectly. A lot of workplace experience is going to come out of this. I've done the pre-frosh research before. I did that last summer, but it was more of a mechanical engineering project. This time around, it's more focused on my major and what I want to do in the future. So I'll be able to apply a lot more of what I learned here down the road in other workplace experiences that I might have, internships, co-ops, or even maybe jobs. Because I haven't, truth be told, I haven't had a lot of biology experience. I haven't really done anything biological since sophomore year of high school. But now being launched back into it at this degree of difficulty has really made me have to focus and apply myself to learning all the material. I've had to read a lot. But at the same time, it's completely expanded my horizons and understanding of the field. And uh, that's something that will be very useful in the coming years here at Clarkson and just in the future.